Hello, friends. Hello, foe. This is my new YouTube channel, Hyde Von Hitchcock. And this YouTube channel is going to be dedicated to all kinds of different things. We're going to have a little bit of automotive repair, a little bit of aftermarket upgrade and fabrication. We're going to have some music. We're also going to have what you see behind me here, vintage toy collectibles. That's how I get away from the daily adulting of life. I was born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s and 90s, and in the 2000s, I had to become an adult. I had to go legit. I had to go mainstream. How do I get away from that now? Vintage toy collectibles and what you see behind me here, the 1982 to 1994 A Real American Hero line. One of the biggest lines of all time when it comes to toys. Yeah, you had your Ghostbusters, your Ninja Turtles, your Transformers, your Star Wars. This line to me is the quintessential 80s line. A real American hero. You can agree with me, but you can disagree with me. We'll agree to disagree. This to me is where it all started and where I began. I had some of these things growing up. They got lost in the sauce over the years. Moves, transformations, different things, yard sales, playing with them, destroying them, blowing them up with firecrackers. Now, I like collecting things. I love the box art. I love the mint in package. I love collecting loose figures. I love collecting complete vehicles with their blueprints. I shot a video this past weekend. This is my first unofficial video, but my first official video is still in the editing room and I had to throw some content up on the page. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what we shot this past weekend, why we shot it, you'll have to wait and see but I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this and hopefully you enjoy it if you like what you see here hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have some crazy stuff going on on this YouTube channel we just want you to have fun we're not here for the drama we're not here for arguing if you don't like what you see here move along we got some serious fun to be had now this to me is all 80s. This is 1985. And to me, 1985 was the mid-year, the important year for G.I. Joe, but it all started in 1982 with the straight arm figures for me. I'm not a big 12 inch guy, but as you can see, there's a lot going on here. We have blueprints. We have vehicles, we have boxes. We have figures. And as far as I'm concerned, the USS flag is the most important display, the most important playset of all time. It spans seven and a half feet, seven and a half feet in length at a hundred dollars retail in 1985. That was a tremendous amount of money, tremendous amount of money that nobody wanted to spend on a bunch of plastic. Now try to get one for less than $500 in pieces, missing pieces. This is a complete 1985 USS flag. And I got this for my friend, Rob Ross on the G.I. Joe Trader PX page. I won it in one of his auctions. He does claim auctions all the time. That's a great way to catch up on the G.I. Joe stuff is get in an auction on Facebook. There's a lot of things going on right now on Facebook, one of which is claim auctions and live auctions. They're very fun. The banter between the people, the banter between you and your friends, it's a whole nother level. This is how I get away from the daily regimen of having to run a shop and do automotive repair and fabrication work. Because sometimes that can be a headache in and of itself. But that's for a whole nother video. This here is where we're at now. Some of my favorite pieces from 1985. We got a tomahawk. We got a Sky Striker. We got a Conquest X-30. 
We got my friend over here, and Rob Ross nicknamed me Wild Bill. I'm assuming because of Wild Bill Hickok, but I am Wild Bill Hitchcock. We got some original box art. We got an original lift ticket here with microphone. We got filed cards. We got our shipwreck. If you were a fan of Ace, we've got our Ace. Sky Striker Pilot. Slipstream, of course, for the X-30. We've even got ourselves one of the most important vehicles of the mid, early mid 80s, the whale hovercraft. One of the hardest vehicles to complete with its unbroken veins in the rear. But the pinnacle of my collection and the reason for starting this YouTube channel, heavy metal. I love music, so the name always, always rings a bell for me. The Mahler Tank, one of my favorite toys from the 80s growing up. I love this tank, motorized tank. And of course, Dusty with his original bipod, super hard to find. Another reason why I shot the video that I shot yesterday. But this to me is pretty much everything that brings me happiness and everything that brings me joy. Vintage toys, automotive fabrication, upgrade, repair there's so much going on in this building it's just heartwarming for me to have all of this behind me and to be able to show it to you if you like what you see on this youtube channel please hit subscribe we want you to have fun and we want to be able to bring cool information and cool content for you we're going to have some music involved as well i'm kind of big into the music thing so please subscribe hit the subscribe button comment below if you like it, tell us to keep going. If not, move along, because we're going to keep going anyway. Have fun, and remember, say no to repro.